You might think that camera raw is only for raw images, but actually you can use a camera raw filter to use camera raw on any image or layer in your Photoshop document. Now I have a layer here or an image open and it's an image of clouds. And down here in the layers panel, right now it's just a layer. I'm going to go ahead and right click it and make sure it's a smart object. Now if you embedded an image or you drug it into an existing document, it's probably already a smart object. But if it's just an image you opened, make sure you turn that to a smart object. The reason is when we go up to filter and we go down to camera raw filter, it applies that filter in a way that we can access it again. And with the camera raw filter in particular, it's good to be able to access this again. Now this opens up a new dialog window that is camera raw. If you're familiar with it, you'll know what you're looking at. But basically we have a bunch of tabs over here starting with edit. You can do an auto adjustment to your image or go black and white. You can adjust the profile and then you have basic edit settings like white balance, the temperature and tint. You can adjust exposure, contrast. So you can make a bunch of adjustments to this all the way down through texture, clarity, vibrance, saturation. We can minimize that tab and then go to curve. You have a curves layer you can make adjustments to like a tonal curve. You have detail, which allows you to add sharpening and do some noise reduction in here. You can also do color noise reduction, which helps uh, some of like the color uh, aberrations and, and such and different artifacts. It kind of removes those. You have a color mixer where you could say, oh, I want the blues to be more purple. So you can take colors in different directions. We also have color grading. So if you want to adjust the midtones, the shadows and the highlights of the colors. Optics is a little different. I mean, you can add a vignette. You can also do some distortion or remove distortion. Geometry, collaborate or calibration and effects all have their own different uh, settings and effects you can add in here. Like for instance, you can add some grain really easily here in the effects tab. You also have some, uh, you know, healing brushes over here, some different um, masking options here within camera raw. But then once you're done with camera raw, you can actually just hit OK. It'll apply whatever the filters are. And you can see down here, you now have smart filters because this was a smart object, which means, and by the way, you can minimize or show those smart filters with this arrow right here. But it means we can double click on this camera raw filter to get back into the camera raw settings. So if we came in here to the basic tab, we up the contrast by a lot and even the shadows, right? Or no, we let's, let's just keep that there. Maybe the highlights are a little brighter. We hit okay. We can see that we made that adjustment to our image. We can hide that to kind of see what we did. But then also it's like, if we took that too far, we can double click and go back in here and re-edit those settings to make adjustments however we would like. And that's how you can apply the camera raw filter and go and re-edit it here in Adobe Photoshop.